What if I told you there's a system that can spunt, carbonate, dry hop your beer and even measure the beer's gravity all automatically and without you being in the brewery? At Brauwe Viale 2024 in Nuremberg, Brewtools introduced the brand new fluid control system and in this video we'll dive into how that works. And definitely stay around until the end of the video because I will reveal how you can be a part of the development of the FCS. <laughs> But before we go into the weeds of the FCS, you definitely ask yourself, what is the FCS and how does it work? So, I'm here with Eivind and the Brutus guys at Traube Viale 2024, it's the last day. And yeah, um, can you tell me a little bit more about the FCS and what you had in mind in general? The vision for FCS is to take industrial uh, technology for sensors and uh, controls mm -hmm. and making it, making it uh, available for everyone to use, for home brewers, for small breweries. So we measure a lot of parameters and using that to control the optimize the fermentation process. And what parts do you need to make the FCS work? Tell me a little bit more about the core components of the FCS and what you need and what it's yeah, capable to do. The controlling device is the display module. Right. It runs the software, has a Wi-Fi connection. The profile for fermentation is run here and also it handles all the, the sensor feedback, communication, everything. So which fermentation parameters can the FCS measure? And here's a cool surprise waiting that I definitely didn't expect. We can do fermentation profiles mm -hmm. or manual control. Okay. And in, within profiles we have quick profiles, cloud-based advanced profiles, or at least we're hoping to cooperate with uh, uh, yeast uh, suppliers to make official profiles for, for the yeast uh, they make. So, Interesting. Yeah. So we measure uh, temperature with a temperature sensor and we measure, measure pressure. Density is coming out a little bit later. We do agitation with a mixer, uh, level sensor, and we do RPM for the motor and DC and AC current. Oh, wow. So, yeah, for now. And what's, what's the DC? This is DC, DC power. So the sole noise and the small DC connected devices are pulling 10 watts and the heating element is pulling 500 watts approximately. Oh. To recap this quickly, you can not only use your own fermentation profile that you created for example in Brewfather. In the future there might be yeast dependent profiles that really dial in the fermentation to the specific parameters of each individual yeast strain and that I think is pretty exciting. There will be even a level sensor that can measure the volume inside of your tank. And that is pretty cool if you ask me because while packaging you will always know how much beer you have left in your tank. Also the agitator is a neat device not only for rousing hops during dry hopping without wasting precious CO2. I could totally see these tanks being used as a yeast propagation tank. How cool is that? Okay, now that we covered what the display module does, what do we need the I.O. module for? The I.O. module powers the entire system. It has a 24 volt input and it's uh, as a single cable to the display module. It has all the connectivity for right. CAN bus, for all the advanced sensors, for temperature, for relays output and also connection to the relay module. Mm -hmm. It's expandable as well if something in the future happens and we need to have a thousand sensors for a reason, we can do that easily. So. I would bet that many of you are not only interested in cooling the tank, but also heating it. And how can we do that with the FCS? So this is the relay module. It takes a control signal from the I.O. module and it also gives current feedback to the, to the I.O. and the screen. And it's power input and power output for the heating elements. All right, so in order to have the FCS control the heating element, you would definitely need the relay module. What it basically does is powering the heating element and also measuring the current the heating element draws. But why can't you plug in the heating element straight to the I.O. module and skip the relay module altogether? That's because the I.O. module is not AC, so you actually need the relay module to power the heating element whatsoever. The relay module also protects crucial parts of the system from overvoltage. And there is even more protection that comes from the FCS. And I see there's also the IP44 certification. Can you tell me a little bit about that? It's, it's uh, splash proof. That's what it means, basically. So, yeah, it's, it's probably better sealed than IP44, but uh, the connectors are IP, IP44. So, we cannot say that it's higher. So. Okay, so like if uh, something happens and the hoses uh, are splashing water or wort or beer, there is nothing to worry about no, in your brewery. It should be fine, yeah. 
should be fine. And if you think Norwegians are 100% serious and straight up people, I would like to prove you wrong. What's this? The fancy LED is uh, it's just our way of putting our touch on an industrial product <laughs> and it shows feedback on heating, cooling, solenoids, etc. So does it change the color? Yes, of course, yeah, RGB LED. Mm. Okay, uh, like uh, what color? It's orange right now, what does it mean? And now it's heating, so, and, and, it, and it, it might change with software in the future, so it's just programmable LED. Yeah. Very cool. A, a fun touch on something cool. So It is fancy, yeah. I gotta say. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah. Back to the FCS, how would you mount all these parts after all? There's a lot of different options for mounting the parts. The display comes with a ball. Uh, which we include with the uh, display and you can get different lengths of uh, arms. There's a longer one over here uh, and this is a, a pipe clamp, like a fixed one. And this is a flexible one so you can adjust it, fits most pipes. This is a shorter one as well, so you can move it around. And... Now we're coming to the most interesting features of the FCS and that is the electronic spunding system. So the electronic uh, spunding system is a pressure sensor and a solenoid valve. We offer this in an integrated version or separate parts if you want that. You can, uh, you can have an airlock on top or you can have a tube to a bucket, mostly for bigger tanks. So that's it. It measures the pressure it's, uh, and it releases it until to keep the pressure. That's not very, not, not very complicated. But what if we taste the beer after the fermentation and we need to add external CO2? How does the FCS do that? The system can also uh, automatically carbonate the beer when it's finished. So you uh, set a higher target pressure and you can add uh, CO2 via a second solenoid valve. In manual mode you would just change the mode to input and then you set, set two bar and it will raise the pressure through a valve down here. One of your questions coming from the Brutals Facebook group was if the sensors are available in different sizes. And let's hear what Eivind has to say about that. All the sensors and, uh, and uh, actuators will be available in different fittings, like threaded ones, big tri clamps, small tri clamps. We can adapt uh, to most systems, so it will fit any tank. Another question coming from the Facebook group was if the FCS was compatible with the Mini Uni Plus, and that was something that I was also very curious about. So the, the system will work on the Mini Uni as well, and basically any tank. For the Mini Uni we made a, a tri-clamp adapter so you can use the carbonation kit and you can also have heating and density or temperature. One of the craziest features of the FCS in my opinion is the ability to even dry hop your beer without you being in the brewery and let's see how that works. So the system can pneumatically dry hop as well. Uh, you control a, a three-way uh, solenoid valve that opens and closes the dry hopping valve so you can prepare the, the, the hop drop kit with hops and purge it and then go away and then it, it will automatically dry hop when your recipe says it should be. So. The FCS is not entirely finished as of now, but you can already get it and be part of the development. And that is pretty cool because you can tell Brutals what kind of features are already working and what features you would like to see in the future being implemented into the system. Bottom line is Brutals really cares about the community and of course your feedback. And I will myself get my hands on the FCS and test in the future how well it plays with the Mini Uni Plus. If you have any more questions or comments in the meantime, please drop them below and I will see you around in the next video.